Well, Amor and I started the morning off pooping in a Walmart bathroom. Well, I was pooping in the Walmart bathroom. Amor does not have that luxury. She had to wait by the bike. And now we're in this hotel and we're about to prepare this salad and yum, yum, yum. Oh, I cannot wait to fill my tummy, but I mean fill. <laughs> I have the biggest can of beans. It's so big. I'm gonna put this whole thing in there. And I'm gonna add this jackfruit that I got in the salad dressing. Oh, fuck yeah. These carrots. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yummy, yes, yes, yes. I'm excited to eat. I'm so blessed to be inside of this hotel right now because it is literally out of my budget. I don't even have the amount of money this costs in my bank account in this moment. So, <laughs> like, it was gifted to me by my partner. And at first, well, they offered it without me saying anything. Well, we've been in touch about, you know, just my day. I post updates to them throughout the day because they're one of my anchors and they love me so they care <laughs> they want to know yeah so they just like offered it because uh, I was feeling well I'm still feeling <sighs> drained but last night man it was just so hard to sleep with those like Trumpy vibes and yeah, more kept waking up, like I already talked about this, but oh my god. So yeah, I was just feeling so like sick in my body, like underslept and headache and just kinda out of it. Like <laughs> Yeah, and um I spent way longer than I wanted to at a Starbucks just because I needed to use the Wi Fi. Um my phone was taking forever to do this data transfer thing, so it just threw my whole, like, it's not what I wanted to do at that hour. I was sleep deprived, and that was the prime hour for riding the bike before the sun hit real hard. But yeah, I just needed to clear up the space on my phone so I could use my phone in general. <laughs> like, yeah, so I can record more videos, really, um, and use offline maps and that kind of stuff. So, oh, it's just been such a long, like, <laughs> 24 hours, and. I noticed my resistance at first when I said no, like my immediate reaction was like no, and I felt the resistance in my body. I just named, I was like, I feel resistance in my body, let me get back to you after I feed myself. Uh, but then I just sat with it and I was like, fuck, well, they are really inviting me into doing something different than I normally would because A, I would never book myself a hotel normally. Uh, and B, uh, because I felt so much resistance in my body, I was like, okay, this is in my stretch zone to receive. And now that I got a clean haircut, oh, it feels so good. I spent a lot of time in the shower, taking care of myself, really taking my time and loving on my body. Oh, it feels so good. And I just had this clarity just fall upon me. <sighs> yeah, that when I was a small being, I had internalized the belief that you should be able to take care of yourself. And if you're unable to take care of yourself, then you're a burden or that it means like you're irresponsible or incompetent. And so part of me was feeling resistant because I felt like shame and like, I don't know if I felt insulted exactly. It's kind of hard to name this experience, <laughs> but there was like an underlying belief that I couldn't access in the moment. It just manifested as a feeling that like I was incapable of taking care of myself. And then I got in my head about it. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could just feel in their energy, like I said earlier, that the, it's like a genuine thing and they feel like mutual relief knowing that I'm safe. So I'm just like really opening myself up to that. Yeah, receiving has never been easy for me, but I'm receiving and I feel my entire energy shift and I'm just like so grateful. <laughs> Ah, oh, to my partner. They're amazing. I love them so much. Ah, oh, they're amazing. They're so generous. <laughs> and it's not just with me. It's like, I just, I see this as like who they are. And I'm just so blessed to be in relationship with them. 
Uh, yeah, super grateful. Oh yeah, they're just such a beautiful being. Like what a gift to receive, my God, so much love. I feel their presence in the room with me. <laughs> and I'm grateful to myself for receiving too. I'm grateful to myself for being open and to stretching and to getting something out of it. Like I feel <laughs> so refreshed and I feel like yeah, like helping me love on my body in this way of giving myself rest. And like, this is the first time I've had privacy in a room in like three weeks. So <laughs> my tummy is activated. Woo. It's a lot to receive, but Bell Hooks in her book, All About Love, which I'm in the middle of right now, she talks about love. She defines it as like a string of characteristics and like respect being one of those and care. There's so many other qualities, but she just talks about how like so many people experience abusive relationship dynamics that they don't even notice it's happening and then when somebody tells you they love you within an abusive relationship dynamic, it's so confusing. Like we literally as a nation don't even understand what love is because, well, these are my words, but it's, there's like a cultural deficit. We don't have those cultural skills. They have not been passed down because imperialism and colonialism and this dominator paradigm has taken over and it's all happening subconsciously we don't notice it but we internalize that you know like these violent forces that is how this the united states is organized right now that's how it came into being so yeah so when i say i feel loved by my partner i literally mean like i feel so cared for and loved and respected like like they're helping me in my spiritual growth even um yeah, like even by giving me the opportunity to go into my stretch zone and like receiving is such a deep form of intimacy, you know, and so many of us are afraid of intimacy because there's a cultural deficit. We just literally don't understand it. Like it's scary. <laughs> Whether you're anxious attachment or avoidant attachment, there's an avoidance of intimacy. Like if you're anxious, you just crave it. But then, oh wait, no, I'm thinking of anxious avoidant. <laughs> no, but... Anxious attachment, I mean, it, it's like chasing intimacy. And so when you are able to let go and find that balance where you're not chasing, but you're giving and receiving, like that is the intimacy, not the chasing of. That's like an emotional addiction. It's just familiar from childhood. <laughs> well, <laughs> I smoked some cannabis and now I am sermoning, so... Oh, it just feels so good to be alive today. I feel so loved and so grateful to be alive. Oh, I'm going to take off early in the morning. I'm going to um, aim to wake up at 5. I wonder what time I'll go to bed. I need to look into that. But definitely I want to like rest super duper well. So I'm going to focus on eating this delicious salad. I did not eat lunch today. So I imagine that actually putting food in my body is gonna really help my system relax because I've been so full of adrenaline. So the food is super duper gonna ground me. And I recently um, learned in this podcast, this is kind of random, um, that beans are a pretty good source of solu soluble fiber and that soluble fibers help um, release adrenaline from the system. They like carry it with them and they take it out. So, fuck yeah, beans. I'm about to eat the shit out of these beans. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Okay. Thanks for being on this emotional journey with me. Amor's getting to rest, too. She's had a really long day. It's just been so hot. We've been hopping around from Starbucks to grocery outlet to the smoke shop because I lost my pipe and I had to replace it. But it was only 10 bucks, so yeah, it's a good investment. Because I don't have to like keep 
uh, yeah, it's like takes a little space in my storage and I don't have to keep like replacing it. So. <laughs> Getting ready for the woods. We're not going to have such ease in our access to resources. So yeah, it's so nice to be able to stock up and sort of run errands in a way. That's how it feels. And then get to rest after that and not have to worry about stealth camping another night. Like, damn, what a gift. What love. Wow. <laughs>